Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian here at the Association of the United States Army's annual meeting and trade show in Washington, D.C. Our coverage here is sponsored by AM General, Elbit Systems of America, General Motors Hydrotech, L3 Technologies, and Leonardo DRS. And we're here over at uh, Esterline where we're talking to uh, Stephen Lewis, who is uh, the Vice President for Rugged and Air Transportation Solutions uh, at Esterline, uh, American company, but uh, uh, bits of it based in Seattle, but bits of it in uh, Belgium, where you guys are the old uh, Barco business, uh, parts of it in the UK of the old uh, Raycal business. But I want to start, uh, uh, Stephen, with uh, the, the displays you guys have. Um, that was a key market, uh, obviously, for the company. Talk to us about what are some of the things you're offering. You know, wh why are you here at AUSA with this product? Yeah, good afternoon, and uh, thank, thanks for having me. So on the show, we are introducing two new types of displays. And we're typically in the display market for Army, for Naval, for air traffic control as well. But here we're focusing obviously onto the Army products. And the uh, products that we're introducing, the displays that we're introducing, is a 15 inch, it's a large full HD display. And it's a 12 inch, it's a, a 12 inch fully rugged display that typically go into Army vehicles. Sometimes we add a computer in the back and then it becomes a smart display. We call it a smart view. Also available in all the sizes that I've, I've been talking about, 10 inch, 12 inch, 15 inch and we are actually the world leader for, for these product lines. So we're happy to be on this show as well. It's the biggest show in the United States for Army, and we are trying to uh, promote these products here into the US Army business. And uh, have you had any successes yet? Oh yes, uh, so uh, what we're focusing on on this show is the fact that uh, we have the products which are GVA compatible, and GVA is actually a British standard, believe it or not, which is now conquering the world. It, uh, it basically defines how the display should behave and interact over the network with all uh, various sources of inputs coming into the vehicle, cameras, targeting systems, uh, battlefield management systems, bringing this onto one display and representing this in a way that is equal in all of the GVA compatible vehicles. And uh, we've sold this system now uh, in the UK, we've sold it in Australia, and we are promoting it here for the US market as well because there is a lot of opportunity for this type of displays here in the US. Um, with any smart display, I mean, everybody's always going to talk about cyber. We've had a couple of in interviews here. What are some of the challenges when it comes to you know, technology, not just at the, at the high end of the system, but now each of the subsystems, including now screens, are considered smart devices. What kind of a cyber challenge does that present on a platform for you guys? Well, we have to be careful, obviously, when introducing the products connected to a network, that this network is fully secured from uh, outside. But normally, if you have a network which is only inside the vehicle, the information assurance channel challenge, the cyber challenge, can be contained to within the vehicle. And it's also nicely contained within the GVA uh, architecture. So uh, when it comes to uh, securing against cyber, the, the concern is not so big as you would have with a system which is actually hooked up to internet or to other networks. Um, I, I suspect that that was the answer, but that's a very good answer and, and, and addresses that. Um, let me ask you about a rugged display. When we were over at DSCI, uh, we did an interview where you guys had rolled out uh, um, a, a, a noise canceling, uh, but remarkably rugged headset. Um, it was sitting in a fish tank. Uh, and apparently still worked uh, uh, throughout the process. You're bringing that to the U.S. market. What are some of the opportunities you guys are pursuing here in the United States with that product? Yeah, the, the rugged headsets, we already have a very firm base here in the United States uh, on JLTV, on other platforms. We're just introducing that product that we introduced in, in London also to the U.S. market because it's kind of a, uh, the next version. It allows for 3D sound. It's extremely rugged, can be deployed in various uh, form factors and we believe it's going to be a hit for the U.S. market as well. And any particular programs you guys are uh, pursuing? Well, those which have specific noise um, uh, characteristics, uh, high noise environments, specific noise environments such as airplanes and wheeled vehicles and tracked vehicles and we adapt the behavior of that headset to the noise uh, uh, surrounding so that you have a perfect optimization of your sound uh, sound cancelling uh, behavior of your headset. St Steve Lewis of Esserline, sir, thanks very much for talking to us. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Have a good day.